Hello and welcome to another App Manager 8 video. My name is Michi Schniebel and I'm Product Manager for App Manager. Today I'm talking about the new Delta discovery with App Manager 8. So let me switch to my control center and create a new job, a new discovery job here. So I'm going to the regular discovery recovery category and I will select the SQL job here. So these are all the regular discoveries you have um, and the Delta discovery feature is supported with all of them. Um, so take a look to the schedule and here you realize there's a new tab in that window called discovery. This tab will only show up if you select a discovery job and if you use control center 8. It doesn't show up in the operator console. And it will give you some options here to run the full discovery, which is the uh, Heritage AM7 discovery, the full discovery, or the new Delta discovery, which is the selection by default now. You also have some configurations down here. And if you'd like to subscribe to events uh, based on changes in the discovery. So what does that all mean? Let me explain a little bit. So the uh, regular discovery works in a way that you create a job in the QDB, the MS picks up the job, sends the job down to the agent, the agent runs the discovery, and then returns the full discovery details to the MS. And the MS will write that information in the QDB, and that's it. And it will do that regardless of there have been changes or not. With the Delta discovery, things are a little bit different. The first two steps are the same, but once the job runs on the agent, the, the agent will store that discovery information locally, and the next time it runs, it compares the new discovery with the previous run, and if there was no change, it will not send back any data. If there was a change, it will only send back the Delta only the difference from the previous to the new discovery. And then the MS writes that delta into the database. And depending on your configuration and the discovery job, it will create events or not. So this will only work with the App Manager 8 agent. If you have an App Manager 7 agent and you run a delta discovery job, it will behave like a full discovery. So it's no problem to run these this delta discovery jobs against AM7. But don't expect the same behavior with having events and just the delta going through. It will behave like the old AM7 discovery. Uh, but as soon as you update the agent, the job just picks up the delta discovery behavior. So back to my job. Um, I cancel this one because I've, I'm running already one. And what I want to show you now is, is how it works by creating a new database. Um, I call it test and create the database uh, in my SQL server. So my job here runs every minute. Um, just for demo purpose, I would not recommend to have the Delta discovery or any discovery job running every minute because a discovery puts some load on your agent and your machine. And in the case you have hundreds of databases in your SQL server, the discovery could take a while to finish. It could even take longer than a minute, and then you have uh, jobs queuing up here. Also, the resources needed for doing the discovery uh, could be a hit to that machine, and you, you probably don't want to have that kind of utilization on the machine by having a discovery every minute. So I would recommend a different setting that every minute. Um, I use the default settings here. And I hope by now we, we do have an event, uh, but you never know. Um, so let's go to the event tab here. And there are two events. Let me show you this one. This is the new event. No, it's not. OK. Maybe this is the new one. Yeah, that's the new event. And you see here is a nice table showing you there's a test database. And it was added. And this is the type you subscribe to, the addition type. And, and it will give you the information what's new in your environment. And you now can, you know, um, change your uh, existing chaoses to monitor that database as well. But most of App Manager jobs, if they're running in a monitoring policy, will do that automatically. But at least you, you have an event telling you there is something new in your environment, which is very, very useful. And here's an older event. Uh, it's just sorted in the wrong direction. 
and I have that old event to show you what else is possible. So I had another uh, demo database, and I changed the size of the database, and you see it went from 10 megabytes to 20. And uh, from a previous run of that video, I deleted the test database, and you will get that information as well. So these are the events you're getting from the Delta Discovery, and on top of that, the Discovery is much smarter, uh, puts less load on your management server, and is way more efficient.